I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, September 2014. U.S. and Canada job numbers tell of different economic recoveries. Two closely linked economies, but two very different recoveries. That's what you get when you compare Canada's performance with that of the U.S. over the past few years. According to Douglas Porter, chief economist at BMO Capital Markets, the most notable difference between the U.S. and Canada is the widely diverging performance of the two job markets since the financial crisis erupted seven years ago. In the 2007 to 2011 period, Canada fared a lot better than the U.S. when it came to job growth. However, since 2013, it's the United States that has churned out much better numbers. To understand the difference, it helps to look back at the years since the recession began. The Canadian government reacted quickly to the recession with massive stimulus programs to support employment. By contrast, the U.S. state and local governments had to run highly austere policies that weakened the recovery south of the border. Fiscal policy wasn't the only difference. The housing market in Canada was hit much less hard than the United States, and it rebounded much faster from the recession. The banking sector was in much better shape on our side of the border, maintaining its level of mortgage lending, while borrowers responded enthusiastically to rock-bottom interest rates. In the U.S., by comparison, housing took the brunt of the recession's blow, falling steadily through the 2007 to 2011 period amid tight lending conditions that kept buyers away. Canadian auto sales returned to normal soon after the recession ended, whereas the U.S. auto sales are only now returning to pre-recession levels. Taken all together, the housing, consumer spending, and government sectors tend to be rich in jobs and light on productivity. So, when they started to improve, employment spiked up in all three. Today, the picture looks a little different, as Canada now lags in the job creation pace behind the United States. One reason is that in Canada, we have come to rely much more on our exports to fuel the recovery. The export sector is often tied to investments in equipment and manufacturing, which tend to improve productivity and lower job creation. So, while we've had respectable economic growth, the job numbers lately have been disappointing. The result has been solid employment gains without particularly strong growth in GDP. The best for the United States could be yet to come as it catches up. The United States will be playing catch-up on economic growth for a while, and it should see much firmer employment and probably better GDP growth. The Federal Reserve is likely to begin raising United States interest rates next year, at least three months before Canada. That should lead to a stronger U.S. dollar and a much softer Canadian dollar. As for stocks, improving productivity and earnings, combined with a delay in Bank of Canada tightening, should help the TSX hold its ground. But the recent run of outperformance will be hard to sustain if the United States economy outpaces Canada's. Once again, the two economies are likely to follow different tracks as the recovery unfolds. Source, Montreal Gazette.